Hi, today we'll be talking about bootstrap cards. Bootstrap card. A bootstrap card is a bordered box with some padding around its content. It includes options for headers, footers, contents, colors, and others. And maybe one of the frequently used class will be the bootstrap card. So how do we create a basic card? A basic card is created with the card class. And content inside the card has a card body class. So the basic card is, we have here an example, a division class equals card slash div. And inside this, we have the division class card body slash div. And then we can place the contents of the card inside the card body so the output again a card is a bordered element or a bordered yeah, object now there is also a provision for a card header and footer so for the card header we use the card header class so this adds a heading to the card and the card footer class adds a footer to the card. So just like in our previous example, we have division class equals card. Then we have the card body. But in addition to this, we can place the card header. So with another division with the class class card header. And then another division here with the class card footer. So the output of this will be something like this. We're in this part is our card header and this part is a card body. And then we place, uh, we have now our card footer. We can also place background colors. To just uh, the, the parts of the card. So to do this, we can use the contextual background classes or any classes that you let's say create using CSS so but for the contextual background classes we these are of course the BG primary etc so in this example we have the division class equals card with some top margin on it and then the header was colored BG primary and the text will be text light that means white and the card body so it's not uh, no background was placed on the card body and on the footer we use the bg secondary so the output will be something like this so this one is the bg primary and you notice this is white or a little bit white um, that's because of text light here and then this is the card body and then the card footer using bg secondary so the dark gray is the background secondary the default color for bootstrap 4 We can also have card titles, text and links. So we use the card title class to add card titles to any heading element. So the card text class is used to remove bottom margins for a paragraph element if it is the ch last child or the only one inside a card value. So it removes bottom margin if it is the last element or the last paragraph. The card link class adds blue color to any link and a hover effect. So hover effect is the effect that when you, uh, there's some sort of an effect if you move the mouse over that link. So the same, we have the card. So this class card calls card with my top margin here and then slash div. And inside this, so wrapping this, we have here in this example, the card body so it's last div and inside the card body we have here h4 with the class card title so that means that's a card title and then we have a paragraph with the class card text and then we have here two links with the class card link so the output will be something like this so yellow because of the background is bg warning We can also add images to our card. 
and we use the card IMG top or the card IMG bottom to an image to place the image at the top or at the bottom inside the card. Note that we have added image outside the card body. So this is the card body and we place the image outside the card body to span the entire width. So this will occupy the entire width. So the code we have here card we have here the card, we have here the image, and we have the class card img top. Then we have here division class card equal card body, and then we have the card title. So this is the card title John Doe. Then text, this is the some text, and then here we have a, a link with using the class button primary. So button primary. So this is the link with the class button so the output will be something like this now if we change the card img top to card img bottom so the image will be at the bottom of the card so uh, almost the same um, code we use on uh, the for the previous one but we just use card img bottom and of course, logically, we also place this at the bottom so that it will be uh, more appropriate. Then we have also have the stretch, stretch link class. So we add the stretch link class to a link inside the card and it will make the whole card clickable and hoverable. So that will make, make the whole card as a link. That's why it's called stretch link. So let's take a look at the code. We have here division class card. And then we have here the image top. Then the card body. So card title. So the same with our previous examples, except that for the button, we place here stretch link. We added the stretch link, uh, stretch link class. So this means that even if you just click on the image it will assume that you have clicked this button so let's say for example this is a url so that url will be open even if you click any part of the card that's why it's called a stretch link then we also have the what we call the image overlay so the image overlay this will turn an image into a card background and we use the card img overlay class to add text on top of the image. So in the example, we have division class slash div here. So the same, we have the image also just like what we have done in the previous example, except that this time around we have created a division class card img overlay. Okay, and then we have the card title here then we have the paragraph so since we have the card img overlay then this whole text that is wrapped inside this becomes uh, will be placed on top of the image then we also have the card columns so a card column creates a messenger like grid of cards so like pinterest if you are familiar with pinterest the layout will automatically adjust as you insert more cards. So what we're going to do here to demonstrate this is we have a card. So this one is a card from this up to this. We have another card. We have another card. We have another card. So we have four cards here. And to distinguish each of the card, we use the background primary for the first card, BG warning, BG success, and BG danger for the other cards so with that this will now be the output so if you make the screen width lesser or narrower then the output will become like this so just a single column we also have what we call the card deck the card deck is similar also to the card columns here card column but 
in the in a card deck the class creates a grid of cards that are equal height and width so the height will be equal so the layout will automatically adjust as you insert more so the same we have four cards so this first card second card third card fourth card and you wrap this inside the class card deck so we have div slash div covering the four cards so and of course the class that we're going to use is card deck so again if you make the width of the screen narrower it will create a single column uh, card with uh, using a single column then we also have the card group the card group is similar to the card deck the only difference is that the card group class removes left and right margins so if you notice on the previous one we have spaces in between the cards so we have left and right margin but on the card group there are no left and right margin so that's the, that's the only difference between a card group and a card deck so that ends the powerpoint presentation but let's now try to demonstrate this using a code so i have here now a my template so here's my template so i have all the necessary links so let's say for example i'm going to create a division or a container so i have here a container and inside my container i'm going to place cards let's say i'm going to place them i'm going to create three cards and place in a layout so class equals row slash div so i have a row inside its row i have three columns so three columns that's why i'm going to use four because 12 divided by three is four i'm just going to copy paste one two three so these are the three columns that I have and inside this column will be cards so div class equals card slash div and a card can contain three parts div class equals card header slash div div class equals card body slash div and div class equals card footer slash div so i'll be copying and pasting that later later in my other uh, columns so let's say i'm going to name this let's say i'm going to place here h2 card one h2 and inside my body let's say h2 also but class equals card title so 401 i don't know why <laughs> paragraph class equals card text slash p and then maybe at the bottom so i place a button in my card footer so what I'm going to do, so this is my card up to that part. So what I'm going to do is, or I'm going to copy the card. So that's my card. Copy and paste it inside the two columns. So space and then paste. And then just to segregate them, I'm going to place it two. Photo number two. 
3 photo number 3 and maybe I would like to play some background color let's say BG primary text light so the same is true so I'm going to have uniform background color BG primary text light also the same is true with this card header so I'm coloring only the card header not the whole card BG primary text light let's first take a look at this output so run launch in chrome so that will be my output so i have here three cards and every buttons view view so let's place images in our code so before the card header or after before the body rather so i have here img class equals card img top source equals the source alternate equals for the one yeah that's it maybe so i'll copy that also on the rest of my cards so that I can have a un uniform output copy but my out is photo number two and the same with my other card photo number three and then I'm going to place images so wait I'll be looking looking for the image the file names to web dev so I have here the first image oh no click and then click again so control C that will be my first image so that jpg then my second image i'm going to copy also the file so click click again control c and then where's my image so here paste so control v then dot jpg then my third image so this one maybe click and then click again control C click and then what place here so source dot jpg and then save the file and then here if we go to view this and then refresh so I have written on my uh, pictures okay so I have with my card header my images on top we have here the title the text and I have here also a button which is I place inside my footer okay so uh, that will be all for the demonstration of simple cards now you can try to experiment on the other classes like card decks, card columns. Okay, so thank you very much for watching this video.